Hi there, adventure seekers. Campground review time again, and as you can see, we're not sitting in the car, so this one's gonna be a little different. This is actually gonna be a first for us, and I think maybe a first period, because I haven't seen an RV park review done quite like this. So we are at the Circle K Campground in White Lake, South Dakota. We've been here for two nights. This is our last night here. We've had a great time. Mm -hmm. And how is this one gonna be different, you may ask? Well, <laughs> we're gonna be droning it. You make me understand this place in a whole different way. Okay, so as you can see, we're right off of Interstate 90 East. So as you can see, there's not a lot in the area. This is a great overnight stop or a stop for just peaceful, quiet, relaxation, you know, yeah. get together with a couple of friends, whatever. Yeah, because we needed a break. And for those of you who've been following us for a while, you know, we've been kind of whirlwind in vacation mode so it's nice to have a few days break so as you come in to the park here the building on the left is actually a furnished apartment you can print out mm -hmm. and on the other end of it is a dog watch so here's the motel office so they do have motel rooms here as well the room on the left is the lobby room and the two rooms right next to that are bath and shower so you know what time it is, right? It's time to go to the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. Okay, we are inside the laundry room. There's four washing machines, two bucks pop, and coincidentally, four dryers. Dryers will run for 30 minutes for 75 cents, or an hour for a buck and a half. Got a little free library here. A little folding table. I'll miss these baskets. You can get some change over here. And some soap and stuff. Here. So now that we've got clean clothes, let's go to the bathroom. What is up guys? We're in the bathroom now. The fan's running because, well, the lights and everything's on the timer. So you gotta hit the timer here and it turns the fan on and it turns the lights on. But Nice, adequate area, you got a toilet, and you got a pretty big shower here. And check that thing out, you got a little bench to sit on. It's pretty nice. There's two of these, right next to the laundry room at the office. Inside the office, um, they also have some, uh, there's limited camping supplies and stuff there. You can also get t-shirts and hats. I um, love the Circle K Gap around there, which is pretty cool. So. One more quick thing, we've got our bath, we've got our clean clothes. The only thing missing now is Talon needs a bath. And we're gonna take care of that right now. Yeah, they got one dog washer too. This is a nice dog wash station. It's like a car wash actually. You've got different settings, it's five bucks for 10 minutes. You got the big tub here. You got a Talon who's not amused. This is not a Talon approved activity. Are we ready to start? All right, tub cleaner first is the instructions. You wanna, yep, go. Clean the tub. All right, now, there's a nice little walk up for the dog. Shampoo. And the timer runs, even if you're not using the water, so they start to keep it running too. Yeah. We had to switch to the phone because both batteries we had for the camera here are dead. Town's gonna try to make a run for it if we're not careful. They do have a little hook right here so you can put the lead on so your dog can't make a run for it. And Talon is very good at giving very sad faces and very pitiful faces when she's doing something she doesn't like, like getting a bath. All right, I think we are done and we have a minute and 47 
Yeah. So and now, here we go. Here we go. Go ahead, shake. <laughs> fluff ball. It's a fluff ball. So, that was a refreshing um, laundry and bath. I feel much better now. I hope you do too. So over here on the left is the tent camping area. There's about a dozen sites that have um, electric only, and there's also the campground here. I mean, and there's also a playground here, some sort of ground, who knows. There's a little playground right there. This campground has about 36 full hookup pull-through sites, very large, and even more importantly, very level. I mean, we were right on level when we got here. We didn't have to do any blocks or anything nope. crazy. And the sites were long, because we yes. could pull in on either side, front or back. And so as you can see right here, here's our rig. Got plenty of room in there. That's again, we have a 36 foot Tiffin 34 PA and a Chevy Equinox. Lots of room, lots of flat room. Now, the other thing cool about these sites here is they all have picnic tables. Well, most all have picnic tables. And I want to show you this too. There's a fire ring and a picnic table. And, and they have free firewood that's already chopped, ready to go and dry. And we had a great time here for the past two nights, testing out our brand new solo stove. And we'll throw a link in, in the description below to our solo stove video so you can check that out because it, was, it. it was awesome. <laughs> and this was a perfect spot for it. But they do have a fire ring here. <laughs> okay, here you see a fifth wheel just pulling in. You saw him checking in. Now he's pulling in. Got plenty of room. Another interesting fact too. Now, Circle K Campgrounds under new ownership and management. It has been for about the past three years. Um, the previous name was... I believe it was Sighting 36. Yeah, Sighting 36 or something like that. And it still shows up in Google searches and it also shows up as that in RV Trip Wizard. Okay, yeah. the, the different outfit running it now. Uh, nice, super nice people, and they also are working really hard to make this a nice place. They've really cleaned it up, and it's really wonderful. So they do have the Wi-Fi here, but where we're at is honestly too far away, so we're not seeing the Wi-Fi network, so I can't give you any um, feedback on it. I can tell you AT&T, good signal, uh, okay, and Sprint was decent as well. Sprint and Verizon better than at and I guess you guys really would want to see what's it like to actually pull into a site here at the Circle K campground. I'd like a lot of feedback here on this video too please. First of all if you've ever stayed here let us know or stayed somewhere else in the White Lake South Dakota area because there's not much or give us some feedback on doing this campground review via drone because it was an idea I had and we're just giving it a shot here to see what it works out as. I hope it'll be neat. We're gonna pull into the spot next to us and we're gonna come in low and slow. Now, obviously the roads are gravel and so are the sites. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a wide sweeping turn in here. That way we can get lined up good. Take your time. You should always take your time when trying to park your RV. That way you, you don't mess up anything. 30 and 50 amp service right there. And there's the water. And then there's the sewer. Something to keep in mind because I wasn't paying attention to where the sewer connection was. So I kind of parked where it was easy for me to get to the electric. And well, I, all of the sewer hose I have is in use. And you just pull right on in your site here and you stop and you hook up. Easy peasy. The rates here are, in the cold season it's a little bit more, it's $45 
for an RV site. And in the peak season, May through September, it's $40. Now they do have a whole bunch of discounts available. So just make sure you ask when you check in. Um, there, you know, a military discount. We know that they do um, a lot of different things. So she said, make sure they ask when they check in because we have a lot of discounts. Yep. And you oh. can either call or email to get reservations. They don't do online reservations. I would say in this area, you gotta go 30 miles before you can get to really anything. There's a few places, a Dollar Tree and, you know, a little market, but it doesn't really have a whole lot. But other than that, you gotta go 30 miles to hit a Walmart or, you know, anything uh, major. But you can visit the Corn Palace in that 30 miles <laughs> if you wanted to do that. There are There are things that you can do if you want to travel a little bit once you're here. Yeah, there's really not a lot of camping options in this part of South Dakota, especially for a larger rig, but we're really happy we found this. This was our, actually, we had picked another place that's about 30 or 40 minutes west of here, and it just didn't work out. It was just too cramped and way unlevel. We came about 40 minutes back east. Stay here, and I'm glad we did. Right. It's well worth it. Again, if you guys have stayed here before, let us know. If you like the way we shot this with the drone, let us know. If you have any ideas on how we can do it differently, let us know. Because we're just trying something new here, trying to be a little innovative. And uh, hopefully you'll like it. And if you don't like it, let us know so we can fix it. And if you haven't already done so, well, you need to hit that subscribe button down below. You need to ring that notification bell so you'll know whenever we do post new content. And... If you'd like to help us help small local veterans charities, you can join our Patreon page, our YouTube membership page, or buy some of our merchandise. Proceeds from all of that will go directly to a small local veterans charity that we partner with other YouTube channels to make a big difference in these great charities that do so much in the community. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. And make your next journey an epic adventure. See ya. Bye.